Everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about the Olympic semifinal in the men's basketball tournament from Paris, where the United States will score off against Serbia in a third meeting between these teams in a three-week span. And the U.S. has uh, won the first two meetings against Nikola Jokic-led Serbia, uh, once in a friendly in Abu Dhabi, and once in Lille in group play, uh, where they surged out to a big victory to begin uh, what has thus far been a stress-free path to a fifth straight gold medal. Uh, but now Serbia is again an obstacle that they need to clear uh, as they look to get to a gold medal match, which will be played against either defending FIBA World Cup champion Germany or host France. And those teams will score off uh, in the semifinal right before this one. So they'll know who the other finalist will be before this one tips off. And, uh, you know, at this point, the United States is a 16 and a half point favorite against Serbia. I'm taping this on Wednesday afternoon. We'll see what the line movement does. Uh, total is set at 188. Uh, and the U.S. is a very heavy plus uh, minus 1800 money line favorite. So uh, that's uh, pretty steep. And if you want to back Serbia to stun the world and pull off this upset, it's plus 900. So nine times your investment you would get back uh, if the Serbians are able to defeat the United States. And the U.S. Uh, is uh, has a wonderful Olympic record, 142 and five, looking to win again a fifth straight gold medal. And they come off a dominant performance uh, in the most recent matchup that they had where they uh, blew out Brazil, went 15 for 31 from three-point range, uh, uh, had their highest scoring performance of these Olympics and covered the spread. Uh, so we'll see if they can do so again. They beat the Serbians 105 to 89 in Abu Dhabi. Uh, that, that, that was on uh, the 17th of July, just over three weeks ago. Uh, Steph Curry had 24 points and hit six three-pointers. We'll see if seeing the Serbians again for a third time uh, will be enough to uh, get him really pointed in the right direction. He's had a rocky Olympics. Bam Adebayo, who's been tremendous throughout, had 17 points and eight rebounds in that game. The first one against Serbia uh, hit three three-pointers, which is uncharacteristic for him, but just goes to show you how locked in uh, the Miami Heat star has been in this Olympic run. And uh, Anthony Edwards, who is currently the leading scorer for the United States at 16.8 points per game, had 16 points in that first matchup against the Serbs and hit two three-pointers. The United States won 110 to 84 in Lille. Uh, and again, we, we have not seen the best of Nikola Jokic. What he's done thus far has been trying to get everybody else going and looking for help because he knew that eventually uh, everything would come down to a matchup with the United States. Uh, and that is exactly where we are at now. So we'll see if he gets more help. Certainly he can rely on Bogdan Bogdanovic who uh, comes off a 17.5 rebound and six assist game in Serbia's 95-90 overtime win over the Australians, which got them here. And for a very long time, it looked like Australia would be the United States semifinal opponent. They rushed out to a 46-22 lead with over six minutes remaining in the second quarter. And Serbia just managed to chip away, chip away. They dominated the third quarter, actually led entering the fourth, then survived an incredible Patty Mills shot to send the game into overtime and impose their will in the extra session. Jokic finished with 21 points, 14 rebounds, nine assists, four steals, two blocks, Joker being Joker, and Joker will need to be stopped again here. And we, we saw in, in the first matchup between these teams, Steve Kerr started Joel Embiid, and as predicted here and by anybody else that uh, – watches basketball the dynamic for the united states was let's make Jokic work on both sides of the ball out of the jump see uh if we can't exhaust him by games end. so uh the united states forced fed joel and beat early uh actually struggled in the start and then got kevin durant into the game and durant went seven for seven from the field before halftime was up and the u.s was on the uh, in route to a, a big 
lead and ultimately the route that ensued a 26 point win. So Durant's been great in this tournament. Uh, so is LeBron James. Those two have been the uh, next top scorers behind Edwards. Uh, LeBron had nine assists most recently uh, against Brazil and leads the team in dimes in this tournament at 7.8. Kevin Durant and Devin Booker are each shooting 62.5% from three-point range. And then we've seen Anthony Davis and Adebayo dominate the boards. Embiid actually comes off his most uh, dynamic performance. Uh, and if we can get uh, 14.7 rebounds on five of six shooting in just 12 minutes from Embiid, that would be the dream scenario here because if you watch the United States play, when he's out there, the flow that they enjoy the rest of the time just isn't there simply because they're trying to get him the ball. It feels more forced. Uh, and defensively, he's just not in game shape to be the uh, dynamic force on that end of the ball that he typically is when the Philadelphia 76ers, when everything is right. So uh, again, we'll see him in the starting lineup. He's been a starter every game he's played. He, they sat him out uh, in the second game of these Olympics, but for the most part, uh, Embiid has been out there with that starting five and will be there out there again. Uh, again, in, in the first half of this game, I would take Serbia plus the nine and a half points. Uh, that's one way to go lean wise, but for our pick here on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. We're riding the over on 188 points. Uh, and the United States is averaging 109.8 through this tournament. They're shooting 55% from the field, 44% from three-point range. Opponents are shooting 41% from the field. And while that is pretty good uh, from a defensive standpoint, that's not great. Uh, and you know that Serbia is going to be efficient because Jokic draws double teams and gets guys the ball in brilliant fashion. So I don't anticipate shutting down Serbia. I anticipate the U.S. outscoring them and doing so significantly. Bogdanovic is an elite scorer at the NBA level uh, and has really done a nice job in these Olympics as well. But uh, the Achilles heel for Serbia and why they probably won't be able to hang in this game is their guard play. They just don't have the athletes uh, that can really resist what the U.S. can do to them, uh, both on dribble penetration and in running the break. And I think so the U.S. will look to escalate pace to make Jokic run for 40 minutes. And ultimately, whether they cover a high spread or not of 16 and a half, I think they win this game with a total being surpassed uh, of 187, 188, depending on when you get this. So that's the play here. Look for the U.S. to win something like 110 to 95, 110 to 92. And obviously that's over 200 points. So we're going to be cruising past this total if that is what transpires in this second semifinal from Paris, France, as the United States looks to win a fifth gold medal. Got to get there first. And I think they'll do so. Uh, in a high scoring game against Serbia. Smash that like button for me and make sure you subscribe to all our videos here at Wager Talk TV. We've got great site wide specials. You can check them out at both Wager Talk and Sports Memo. Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Follow my page at Sports Memo at sm.buzz slash TDM for package information and other free plays. Once again, we're going to ride the over in United States Serbia on, when, on Thursday afternoon. 3.30 tip-off from Paris, uh, so don't miss out. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.